Welcome everyone to this week's Fish Friday. We are on Fish Friday number five, and today we are talking about the largest freshwater fish in the world. There's some people that would argue about that, but it is. It is the largest freshwater fish in the world, and it is a catfish. And we are talking about this one. This is the Mekong River Catfish, or Pangasianodon gigas. That is its scientific name. Um, it is obviously a catfish. It is indigenous to the Mekong River Basin, where it got its name from. Um, the Mekong River Basin is primarily, it's a large river basin, but this fish is primarily found in the Mekong River in Thailand. Um, something about the Mekong River is it is a lot of indigenous fish. It's a very biodiverse area, and it is having a lot of problems right now. Um, not just with this fish, but with a bunch of fish there. Um, as you can see, it is a gray on top and a white on bottom. That is the di dichromatism that sh is pretty common in the fish world, especially among catfish. Um, something interesting about this catfish most people think of catfish they're thinking of the whiskers as you can see in this picture and in this picture here they basically have no barbels um, which are what those whiskers are called those whisker those barbels are what they use to search for food and smell and see in murky waters um, as you can also see they do have low set eyes making them look really sad droopy um, also kind of funny. Gasp. <laughs> um, now, as I mentioned before, they are actually the largest freshwater fish in the world. Some people believe that sturgeons are the largest freshwater fish in the world, but they're actually anadromous. So this is a Mekong River catfish pun. But um, sturgeon are anadromous, meaning they spend most of their lives in freshwater, but then they go to salt water. So they're not quite true freshwater these are fish that spend their entire lives in fresh water you can argue that the mekong river is a little bit brackish from tidal um, influence um but largest freshwater fish in the world these grow to about 150 to 200 kilograms or 330 to 440 pounds in about six years so from the time they hatch from the eggs to get up to 400 pounds it will only take five six years the largest ever recorded was around 3 meters, which is about 9.8 feet, and approximately 650 pounds. There's some debate. There's historical records that have it getting up to 10 feet and over 700 pounds, but it's hard to verify those. Something different than most catfish, they are toothless at adulthood. Um, a lot of catfish actually do have some sort of teeth. These are toothless. However, they are toothed at their larva stage. So when they're really young, they actually do have teeth. And we'll get into why in just a second. The reason why the adults have no teeth is they are herbivores. So they're eating plants, algae, and plankton. Primarily your filamentous, filamentous algae and plants from what I've um, done my research on but they're they're going to be herbivores so that they don't really need the teeth they need the gut um, but when they are young they will actually be cannibalistic they will actually eat each other and any small insects small um, fish they can find they're just getting all the food they can um, something interesting about this catfish it seems like they can live up to 60 years. So 60 years old for a fish. That's pretty darn long. Um, now, some of you are talking about fishing these. These are actually critically endangered and still fished. They are over harvested while spawning. And there are also habitat problems from dams. These have caused um, the this river catfish to be in the entire river basin to have multitude of problems the dam projects are causing pollution issues um when and when fish spawn as you can as everyone knows from 
when bears gather at the river when salmon are going upstream those fish are very congregated well it's historically that's where these fish have been caught in the asian countries as well is when they are traveling up river to spawn um not only are the dams stopping them a lot of times but it's causing them to congregate to get um to become very concentrated in a small area which has allowed a lot of overfishing to happen um it's been estimated that the numbers of this population of fish are down approximately 90 percent in the last hundred years think about that 90 percent the numbers of this fish have gone away in the last hundred years 70 to 80 percent of that is estimated to happen in the last decade Another interesting fact, this fish has only been known about to the scientific community since 1930. Um, and it was found by some scientists going around the Asian food markets. Now, locals knew, locals have been um, going after this fish for, you know, centuries. And they actually do ha um, small offerings and, oh, prey to the fish before they go fishing so they are very respectful um but they are harvested for food um not a whole lot else about this fish it is your standard catfish so it's not going to have any scales um it's going to have those spines that everyone is familiar with um this is actually part of the shark catfish um so here's a good picture so you can see the just sheer size of this and this is not you know too terribly big these are the shark catfish family a bunch of them so that's the family of catfish it belongs to there's multiple families of fish so thank you guys so much for stopping in i really appreciate it I'm sorry that this um, Fish Friday was even shorter than last week's, but this fish, there's so little known about this fish that it is hard to figure out, to find something to say. Most of the information out there is, is actually, this fish is in trouble and we need to help it. Dams are a big problem. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you do, I would really appreciate it. Please comment if you would like to see a fish that you would like to see one of these days as i said we are going from freshwater to saltwater fish um every other every week we switch so next week will be a saltwater fish and in my opinion one of the most beautiful saltwater fish in the world come next week to see what it is but thank you guys so much take care of yourself take care of your loved ones and 